वेलकम बैक एग्जाम्पल फोर पॉइंट फोर सो स्टेटमेंट इज द स्टील रॉड शोन इन फिगर दिस हैज़ अ डाई मीटर ऑफ टेन मिली मीटर इट इज़ फिक्स टू द वॉल एट ए एंड बिफोर इट इज़ लोडिड देर इज़ अ गैप ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट टू मिली मीटर बिटवीन वॉल एंड बी डैश एंड द रॉड डिटरमाइन द रिएक्शन एट ए एंड बी डैश इफ द रॉड इज सब्जेक्टेड टू एक्जियल फोर्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी किलो न्यूटन एज शोन नेगलेक्ट द साइज ऑफ कॉलर and take the modulus of elasticity of steel is 200 gigapascal so you can see this is the rod clear and that is fixed at point a and before applying this load p there is a gap of 0.2 mm and when a load of 220 kN applied so definitely it will cause elongation in this rod so and this rod will contact with point b so you have to find this reaction force at point a and b dash clear so let's start with the solution so again you can see that uh, this force we will assume that force p is large enough large enough that will cause will cause the rods and b to contact to contact wall at b dash so we will draw free body diagram so when you draw the free body diagram it will be like let this is the rod clear this is the collar let the force at point a is f a is in this direction where p is in this direction and force along b dash will be equal to f b i will explain it you can see due to this load this will elongate and will touch this wall so wall will exert reaction force is in this direction which is f b and since this p is in elongation so there will be a reaction force of the wall in this direction so you have to find this and this now we will apply equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to 0 and force in this direction is positive so f a is in negative and b is also in negative so f minus f b minus f a plus p is equal to 0 so from here minus fb minus fa plus 20 kN so 20 into 10 to the power 3 is equal to 0 so let this is your equation number 1 now you can see that this equation 1 having two unknowns that is fb and fa and we have only this equation of equilibrium so this is uh, this is statically indeterminate so this i will write this is statically indeterminate we cannot find fb and fa using this equation so what we will do is we will go to the compatible compatibility i will write so that you can easily understand now we have already explained that this force p will is large enough that it will fill it will fill this gap and this rod will contact at b dash so compatibility equation is compati compatibility equation i will write compatibility equation will be this gap and this gap is del b a is equal to 0.2 mm which is equal to 0.002 m you can see that we have to fill this gap so it means that deflection or change in length of point b with respect to point a is this one 
okay so this is compatibility equation now we will move toward load displacement equation load displacement equation so you can see if you cut this beam over here so definite uh, sorry shaft over here so we will have the free body diagram will be like this one so there will be f a and we will have f a as well if you cut the beam over here uh, sorry shaft over here so it, this will be like this this f b is in this direction while we have reaction f b is in this direction so what we will do is that uh, in this rod one which is this i will write one and this is two which is this one clear so in rod one the displacement will be equal to f a into l a c you can see we can write this is a point this is c and this is b it is also mentioned above clear so f a into l a c divided by area of a c into e and similarly del 2 is also equal to f b since this is compressive so you can see we will have a reduction in length so f b into l b c divided by a b c into e now from compatibility equation we know that del b a which is equal to 0 0.0002 meter and this is this this b a this del b a is again equal to change in length of a c minus change in length of b c so this is change in length of a c and this is change in length of b c but that should be equal to this because this point b move relatively with respect to a so this displacement del b c is equal to del a c minus del b c so you can just put the values um, we have 0 0.0002 is equal to f a into l a c divided by area of a c into e plus minus f b into l b c divided by area of a b c into e so you have all the values you can put f a is not known so you will write f a l a c is 0 0.4 meter i will show you this is 0 0.4 meter 400 millimeter is equal to 0 0.4 divided by pi by 4 diameter is 10 millimeter uh, so we'll write uh, 0 0.0 zero one zero one square so 10 millimeter 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 so it will be equal to 10 to the power minus 2 which is 1 it will be 0 0.01 okay into e e is 200 gigapascal so 200 into 10 to the power 9 minus fb is not known lbc is 800 millimeter which is 0 0.8 0 0.8 divided by pi by 4 d square so d is again 0 0.01 whole square into 200 into 10 raised to power 9 and that is equal to 0 0.002 so when you solve this you will get f 0 0.4 f minus 0 0.8 f b is equal to 
3141.59 newton into meter so this is your equation number two now you have this equation number one and this is equation number two so solve equation one and two simultaneously you can do it so at the end you will simultaneous D so you will get F A will be equal to 16 kilo Newton and F B will be equal to 4.05 kilo Newton so this means that both the values are positive so it means our assumed directions are correct so F A is in this direction while F B is in this direction clear now since the answer since f b is positive so indeed and b contacts the wall at b dash because if it does not contact with b dash so definitely there will be no force so if this this force is in this direction shows you that it is correct so it means that point b contacts with this wall okay so if let 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 uh, if b f b was negative so what does it mean it mean that F B is equal to zero because negative means that F B should F B would be in this direction. So again, it does not show any contact with this. So it means that F B will be equal to zero and F A will be twenty kilo newton. So this was all about example 4.4. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification about the latest video. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.